of my videos i said the issue of uh, extending uh the tenure of uh, the incumbent uh, president is not in the constitution because it has never happened that when somebody wins and is being declared as president elect they will always swear the person in at the end of the day the court case will continue but in this case in this 2023 election that was just concluded people are saying oh it is not so it is not so and that is the reason why this issue of 25 percent because i said the issue of 25 percent is in the constitution but me i didn't know that the issue of uh, extending uh extension extension of a uh, buari steno who is the incumbent uh, president can be extended that the, it is in constitution according to chris he said it is it is in the so that means that status is if it is in the constitution according to what he said then those who are calling for the extension and what have you maybe they are right but another thing is that this issue of 25 percent again that we are always we've been talking back and forth because the according to constitution there is no president who has won since 1999 that did not get a 25 percent whether the one that served two times or once they all get a, they got 25 percent at their first time and their second term they got 25 percent and i think that is the reason why it has not really been debated or talked about. but of course it is clear in the constitution but i don't know how and why they are twisting the whole thing so the issue of uh, swearing somebody in the court case will continue it has always been happening also so we have not seen a case where oh, they will say the court processes must be completed before anybody will be sworn in so that is why it is so difficult and it's alien to a lot of people so also the 25 percent that if somebody will not win and it will be declared winner is alien to a lot of people i think at this 2023 is really making a lot of people to know what is happening and what has always been like i said the problems that we are having that make this problem this problem to be huge it's not because hey, oh, maybe uh, because of obi or because of that because i neck cost the wahala itself amid ongoing calls for the suspension of the may 29th swearing in ceremony of tinumbu as commander-in-chief of the federal republic of nigeria on see all election petitions challenging his victory are resolved a chieftain of the labor party chris Unwakobia has come out to insist that the Nigerian constitution allows for tenor and logation of a sitting president. Speaking during an interview on Arise TV's The Morning Show on Sunday, Unwakobia, who is also the convener of the country first movement, argued that the constitution was drafted in such a way that it guards against the swearing-in of a candidate who has not met the requirements of becoming president. Going further, the Labour Party chieftain insisted that the law allows the current president to remain in office until the court determines who should rightfully succeed him as a nation's commander-in-chief. He said, we have gotten to that point in our democracy where we must do things properly. We must work within the principles of what is right, proper and what is right proper and right and i must say without any sense of equivocation that it is not about calling for an extension but it is about a position envisaged by law that we may at some point in our history get to this point where we must look at the constitution for direction the constitution says that the tenor of a president can continue until such a time when a new president takes an oath of office this means that as envisaged by the constitution, we must effectively determine who becomes the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and section 134 to be clearly states without equivocation that the man who should sit as, as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria must win 25% of the vote of the Federal Capital Territory. Mm. Who are the people who will do the right thing? Is it the same set of people that are in government now? Umbano, they will never do the right thing. At this age and time, Koro Koro like this, I neck, now they cause all this while now, we talk on. Koro Koro like this, they manipulated everything, saying or thinking that, what can you people do? 
if you don't like it go to court now they have gone to court they are still looking for a way to withdraw their petition from court isn't that funny mm -hmm. so this if this is in constitution that uh, oh the tenor of a uh, whatever whatever can be elongated but i don't think buhari is going to do that because buhari is ready to do anything you know anything bad just to support Inubu. so if you are depending on him he's not going to do such a thing and for those who say oh they are calling for an uh, interim government if it's if the government of the day who has the power to do that and i've said it you know from my own little knowledge <laughs> the opposition cannot in install interim, go interim government it is the government governments of the day the ruling party that can institute that the presidency uh, the moment that can do that, if not, nobody do, can do anything. The only thing you can just complain and complain and complain. So when I hear some APC, they are, they are suggesting, why are you crying? You are the one in power. You want to take over power from your from yourself. So how do you, how, how do you think that some people who do not have power uh, of the presidency to just say, oh, let there be interim government and it to be like that. So why you guys are afraid and be talking and talking? Also, hmm. We must say, do the right thing. And I said, if we are to do the right thing, as just the professor has said, hey, who are the people who are ready to do the right thing? Majority of the Nigerian people are not ready to do the right thing. They are not ready to do the right thing at all. Hmm. President Buhari Tenor should be extended to 1st of October 2020 to allow a tribunal to conclude hearing of all petitions. Please, can this man cite this section and subsection of the constitution he is referring to for those of us who are ignorant, they arise if not for their biased and deliberate moves to satisfy their appeal masters, should have asked him to quote the decision. I'm sure maybe you need to go and listen to that. It is unwritten law of their own town union. What an embarrassing statement that the constitution makes provision for the elongation of the tenor of the current president. Yet this a uh, behemoth character could not even provide any provision of the over 380 sections of the CFR, CFRN 1999 serially amended. Television platform should be a channel of accurate information to Nigerians and not misinformation. I am not at loss. I am at a loss how common sense has taken a flight in Liberal Party and their desire to outweigh themselves of crass ignorance and deficiency in reasoning indecent characters have found a way of securing the constant consent of friends friendly televisions to dish out dubious falsehoods and inelegant statements that has no constitutional provisions in modern and futuristic nigeria frustration of losing the presidential election seeks to be in the increase and decency and decency has been shoved outside by these characters. Okay, not we will. This one has to die. Janja with hmm. well, what has Inubu done for Igbos? Tinubu has done much for the Igbos, especially in Lagos. This tribe is an ingress. Huh. Well, this is Buhari, your tribesman, hated with a passion, but asking the same Buhari to continue ruling us with all his atrocities and evil. If Tinubu is not loved, APC can never win any state because of Buhari. This your request is very hypocritical in outlook. In contents and in all ramifications, what has Tinubu actually done against the Igbos? They should let us know. What they did to Buhari is what they are repeating. They are repeating. Let them remain outcasts. Hmm. Okay, I don't know which one this one is saying. You will cry over twenty five percent of votes in FCC for eight years because nothing will stop Ashwaju inauguration except God. Ah, hey, ah. It will be better if now that same God will go call, make you do the right thing. Since a uh, woman beings are not ready to do the needful, that would be better.